Hello everybody, welcome back to today's video. Today we're going to be learning how to create a free MongoDB database. We'll also learn how to connect it to Fate UXC, but you can use this tutorial for any plugin that requires MongoDB because we're going to follow the same steps. So let's get started. Alright, to start off, I'm going to say we're going to start off this tutorial going over how to just create the database itself, and then we're going to go into create, connecting it to Fate UHC 3.0. The reason why this tutorial is named Mongo, how to create a free MongoDB database, and then um, it will say, like, and connect to a plugin or something, I'm not exactly sure what the title will be, is because it's not required you connect it to Fate UXC. This MongoDB database will work for anything you may need, and it's hosted for free with Clever Cloud, which is where I'm going to talk about in a moment. So, the first thing you're going to need is a Clever Cloud account. The link to this site will be down in the description below, and I'll make it full screen so it's a little easier for you to see. The link to this site is down in the description below, and we can we're going to set up our completely free Clever Cloud MongoDB database. So what you need to do is you need to click sign up for free or if you already have an account, press login. For me, I already have an account, so I'm going to go ahead and log in and it will auto log me in because I just logged in a moment ago. And then it will you'll see this screen when you log in at first and all you have to do is go over to the left and click personal space and you're going to press create. And this is where we're going to actually create something. Um, we'll create. And this one is going to be an add-on because we're just going to be creating an add-on and it's not going to be anything big. You can see my past add-ons here. Now, over here, all you have to do is select MongoDB from the list. And this is where you're going to select it. The plan name, if you want a free version of this, is you're going to select Dev. And what this is going to do is it's $0, so you don't have to pay for it. And it has a 500 megabyte storage space. So... Most servers, if you're doing small time things, if you're doing tests, or if you're doing stuff like that, you won't need to go over this. If you do need more space than 500 megabytes, which you probably won't, I recommend just getting a digital ocean VPS, and I'll do a tutorial in a later date going over how to set up MongoDB on a digital ocean VPS. Now, after you select the plan, just click next, and the name, I'll put like YT tutorial or something, whatever you want to name your database. And for the zone, you the only zone available is Paris, France, so that you'll select next. And then it's all it's going to do is create it for you. And you can see it's popped up down here as a YouTube tutorial. It's this easy to create yourself a database. And right after you create it, guess what? Here's your database cr credentials. It's already up and running just for you. That's all you have to do. Now you can use these database credentials anywhere on any plugin that supports MongoDB and it will work perfectly fine. Just make sure your host has the port 27017 open on their end to incoming and outgoing connections. Otherwise you will experience an error. But this is as easy as it is. You have your host, the database name, the user, the password to unlock the password. You just click here and you'll see the password, the port. And if you use an app that requires a connection URL, Fate UXC and our plugins do not, you have that here. So in order to just put this into Fate UXC, so we're going to move on to the Fate UXC part of this tutorial, but if you want to put this anywhere else, just go ahead and enter these same details, just like we're entering into our plugin in another plugin, but they may have a different format. It's up to the plugin developer for that, but the instructions will pretty much be the same. So you're going to open the file, which includes the um, correct... Uh, I never actually started the server, so I'm going to have to start the server to get the data.yml file. So in order to, uh, for Fate UXC, you'll just enter and open up the data.yml file. Other servers most likely will have a config file with this info in it. And you'll see something relating to this depending on the plugin you have. You'll have the address, the port, the database name, and if you want authorization enabled, which our database automatically comes with passwords, you can do that. So we're going to go ahead and change this to true, and you're going to see there's a lot of errors in here. You can just stop that if you're using Fate UXC and set up your database. We're going to take the host, and the host is where going to be the addresses. So you're going to put the host where the address is. And then for the port, you're going to take the port, which is 27017, and paste that where the port is. The database is just going to be the database name, and you're going to take this from the site again and paste it in. And then your username, you'll take your username, and you're going to paste that in here. And you're going to take your password, which is hidden behind this little button there, and put it in there. And then the database will be the same name as the database up here. If you're using authorization, you just have to paste it twice, save the file, close it, and then go ahead and restart your server. And you're going to see it successfully connects to the database we just created on our background. And you can see it is, oh, it did not connect. There we go. So now it's going to say it's opened up the connection. So the first time it may take a moment to open up the connection, 
but then it will open a connection. You can restart the server again and it will connect perfectly fine just as if it is. So you can see the UHC chunks are preparing to load now and everything is loaded up successfully. So that's all you have to do for Fit UHC. Other plugins, they may not require um, you to do this at all and you just enter it in one config file and you're done. Some plugins require you to restart the server. It depends what plugin you use. Most of the time you have to restart the server after entering up the data. But that is how you set up MongoDB for free. That's a free database for MongoDB through clever cloud i do recommend using them it's a very i just highly recommend them and um, if you have any questions of course leave it down in the comments below i'll be happy to answer them and all of those good things so hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial today my name is noodles we'll do a tutorial soon on a digital ocean vps of setting up mongodb redis and mysql we'll see you soon goodbye <laughs>